the question is looking for uh, not dirt, but interesting <laughs> anecdotes having to do with Mr. Ivory's film, A Room with a View, <clears throat> excuse me, which featured a young and somewhat uncharacteristically nerdy Daniel Day-Lewis. Well, he was a very easy, easy person to work with. He, um, uh, we got on very well, and and uh, everybody liked him, and he seemed to like everybody. There was there was no none of the famous sort of uh, uh, the, the kind of behavior that we read about, uh, we have read about in the last few years. Of, He is. Could you he tell is. his greatness as an actor? Well, I, I felt um, he, he, he was one of the people, very few people that I've ever worked with. Um, that when I watched him, watched what he was doing, I felt this is, this is something extremely special and, and, and uh, remarkable. And, and um, uh, I felt that also about the work that Maggie Smith was doing in that film. Uh, but I, you know, he was young and, and uh, I didn't know much about him. And he, 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 he came uh, because he had been in the, in the play, in the theatrical production of Another Country. And someone, who, a friend of mine who'd worked on that came and told me about him. And uh, so we called him uh, to see us. And, and he got the part immediately. I mean, as soon as I talked to him, I just was cast right like that. And Hugh Grant tells a funny story because uh, Hugh Grant was called for the same part. And he came in just before Daniel Day-Lewis. And then I sent him out again. Or maybe it was the other way around. Anyway, and I, I, he, says, he says, you saw me for like uh, 30 seconds. Uh, and uh, I, I, I wanted Daniel Day-Lewis so much right, right then and there. And, and did, didn't want Hugh Grant to talk. <laughs> But on the next film, Hugh Grant came, and I wanted him instantly. And he was cast in 30 seconds, so. So there's just at least equanimity, if not justice.